July 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Corinthians, chapter 13 from the New Testament. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but I do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so that I can remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I give over my body in order to boast, but do not have love, I receive no benefit. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envious. Love does not brag. It is not puffed up. It is not rude. It is not self-serving. It is not easily angered or resentful. It is not glad about injustice, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But if there are prophecies, they will be set aside. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be set aside. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when what is perfect comes, the partial will be set aside. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became an adult, I set aside childish ways. For now we see in a mirror indirectly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully, just as I have been fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. God, so often we get faith, hope, and love mixed up with worldly faith, hope, and love. Almost as though we think they're interchangeable. <laughs> but, but in relating to you and in this passage, they are not. Faith in this world has to do with blind faith. That we're accepting something without any proof or evidence. Yet, yet the faith that is talked about in the Bible is belief in what we can already see, the nature around us, you and your nature completely overwhelming us through everything we can see, the stars and the sea and the plants and the animals, and watching you work in our lives. That's not blind faith. That's completely believing things that we can see right in front of us. I have been so blessed at watching you work in my life and the life of my friends, the people I pray for. There's nothing blind about that. In fact, if you think about it, that kind of faith is actually pretty easy because it's so visible right in front of you. Faith, hope, and love. Hope in the worldly sense, God, is pretty much hopelessness. We don't have a lot to hope for in this world, especially with all the things that are going on in this world right now. We're about to have World War III with Syria. Um, people are acting shocked to find out that the government's spying on us. Um, laws are being passed that go against everything you taught us to believe in. Hopelessness. But the hope that we have in you, it's not the wishful thinking type of hope, God. It's the knowledge of hope, of knowing that your son paid for our sins on the cross. You didn't have to, but he was a per perfect sacrifice for all that we have done wrong, all that we will do wrong in this world. There is hopefulness in being your child. We can never be good enough. Therein lies the hopelessness. But with you, we can. Faith, hope, and love. Love in our world, God, is a mess. Nobody knows what love is anymore. Nobody knows what true love is anymore. They throw it around like a common emotion. Eight-year-olds on Facebook telling each other they love them. 
people changing the status of their Facebook pages every three weeks. People getting married and divorced and married and divorced. We don't know what love is. But you instead show us what love is. John 3.30 You must become greater and I must become less. The love you're talking about here, God, is self-sacrificial, not self-focused. The world is so self-focused. Everything revolves around each of our own kingdoms. We don't even have time for your kingdom, much less each other's. Yet you show us the greatest love in John 3.16 by giving your only son to us. His death on the cross for our sins. Faith, hope, and love, God, allow us today to remember those three words, faith, hope, and love. Remind us that faith, hope, and love is not the worldly version. That's not what you're talking about here. You're talking about the version that you want us to understand how you love us how you give us grace, how you give us mercy, how you forgive us. There's not a lot that we can have faith or hope in or even love in this world. But you provide us an opportunity to experience something greater than this world. You provide us an opportunity to experience eternal life, glorifying you forever. So even though we live in this world that is hopeless, not filled with a whole lot of love, and I don't have a lot of faith in, in humankind, you show us something different. You show us a different way of thinking. We're called to a different way of life. Faith, hope, and love. In your son's name I pray. Amen.